है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई स्टडी सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइब्रेरी अवेलेबल इन पाइटन एंड जस्ट रिसेंटली रिलीज अ बार चार्ट एनिमेशन सो ऑन द टॉप ऑफ बार चार्ट ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम हाउ डिफरेंट स्टैक गॉट चेंज दिस गॉट लिटल बिट वेरी मच फेमस इन लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू फर्स्ट वॉट इज एक्जेक्टली बार चार्ट एनिमेशन and you can see it's like a usual bar chart only but over the period of time how data got changed it is time to represent in a animation format so for that there is a one library already got created in a python which is bar underscore chart underscore race and you can see this particular library which is available on a pypi.org so what i am going to do I am just going to install it on my local machine. So let me just copy to the clipboard, and from the Jupyter notebook, let's just install it. Now in my case, it's already installed, so it will immediately tell me that requirement will be satisfied. I do not need to worry about anything. So the next thing is uh, we need some data. Now this particular library already pre-bundled with a couple of data set. So first of all, let me just import. this bar underscore chart underscore race let's say i'll give some alias name like a bcr all right let me display the version of it it will be a 0.1.0 all right so library got successfully loaded now next uh, one important thing related to this library when you try to render this thing in no kind of animation format it require this ffmpeg so in my case it's already installed but in your case if it is not installed you can just simply search for how to install this ffmpeg on your respective operating system like in my case install on a windows 10 and you will get all those detailed step that how to install it without this ffmpeg installation you just cannot go ahead all right so let's just proceed ahead and i'm just going to display what are the data sets are available so load data set now if you just do load data set and just display what are the data sets are available there are some covid 19 data set they have written here we have a urban pop and we have a baseball data set so let's just continue with this covid 19 and let's put it inside the data frame object let me assign it to some df all right successfully got loaded let me display this df object and now you can see over the period of time from this 26 february 2020 to i guess around 22nd march or not march it's april 22nd april 2020 so almost 2 months that means 60 days of data available that over the period of those 60 days how the corona or covid 19 case varies across the different country and those animation we want to display it so there is one just single line of code you can write it like a bcr dot we have a bar underscore chart underscore race function is available and we can just supply that what particular data frame you want to animate now while execution of this one you may encounter some kind of error because of those ffmpeg do not install in your machine now in my case it is already installed so it just started rendering and it will take little time to creating such a kind of movie kind of objects so let's just wait for little bit and it will create a brand new dot mp4 file for us and it will start displaying so let me just fast forward it till this all right so successfully got created and you can see in 2020 initially the china was very high in number and then slowly it is catching up and then span i guess iran also slowly india will also enter and usa also already entered us is about to overtake almost uh, everyone so this is what i want to show you that with just one single line of code you can do all those uh, mischievous stuff with this time related data now there are many more parameters are available for this particular function so what i am going to do let me 
there are many more things like a uh, file name you can uh, even change the orientation also like uh, horizontal orientation you can make it to the vertical orientation we have a uh, so let's try with a few options let's say i'll just make a orientation instead of horizontal it will be a vertical and let's just render it again now every time when you change the option it will take a good amount of time to again create the same exact uh, movie so definitely it will it is going to take a little bit time and if you want to even render it you can render it into some particular file also so if you go to the documentation of this particular function there is a one options are available like a file name so let me all right so successfully got render it and you can see everything become vertical oriented all right now we have a number of uh, chart or i would say the columns are available there is a one option available like uh, n underscore bar so we can even fix it also so with every single frame if you just want to fix those number of bars let's say i'll just make it to let's say bars is equal to five so only top five in sorting order it will display it yeah so still rendering is going on so with every single change the complete different new movie needs to be created and now you can see there are only five column got created all right so uh, apart from that there are few options i want to discuss that will be uh, let's say file name so if you want to render it into some particular mp4 file you can do it you can even change the sorting order also so by default it will be in a decreasing order so the very first one will be in a highest then it will keep on decreasing and there are many more other options are available you can even do filter you can even uh, change i guess uh, dot per inch also you can change the figure size also you can uh, change with this i guess uh, bar size also you can change it and then there is a one options like a period length so you can even increase the movie length time also so with each individual data points are available it will span for little bit more time so i guess little bit bigger movie will be created so you can always experiment with the different option and there is a great documentation is associated with it but my idea here is that with just one single line of code such a kind of bar animation you can create it you can uh, use this bar underscore chart underscore race library all right so that is all about this video i hope you enjoy listening to this video and see you into the next video with some more cool stuff related to python data science and machine learning till that time please leave comment like my video and subscribe my channel